on the table. <laughs> anyway, the mic. what's up guys? I am here at the uh, concourse underneath Nintendo New York. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we are celebrating the launch of Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. By the way, um, uh, we met Grant Kirkhope and uh, David Soliani. This isn't mine, by the way. This is Gilligan's, but uh, I got a couple of posters over there signed and everything. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go around. Uh, as you can see, the Switch squad's over there. I'm going to maybe go bother them and, and get them photo and photobomb them from my uh, little vlog here. But uh, Or that. I'm sorry. Well, again, that happened. You know what? Screw it. They made noise. I have to go over now. Oh, look at these guys. These guys just freaking knocking down tables and shit. By the way, you already know the Switch crew. We got Rachel. We got Vincent. We got Samson in gaming. We got Cindy that rocked a really sick uh, rabbit peach. And we got Gabe. Yep. Yo, I, come on. You know I got a shout out my homies. I got to get you guys on. The, I got to give you guys shout outs. <laughs> uh, by the way, I finally gave Rachel her Monopoly Gamer, so they're finally yeah, about gonna, to play that. Do a good game right now, so. uh, if you're trying to make it quick, I'd probably suggest not doing all eight bosses, because there's eight bosses in there. Hopefully they think... Eight bosses in there? Well, again, you'll, you'll figure it out. Okay. But yeah, hold on. Let me, see, let me see what's up to you guys. We got Philip plays Nintendo, Brands Chaos, Gothic Teddy Bear, oh, Smith Jr. That's but yeah, I'm going to show off some other stuff and also talk to my buddies that Switch and play as well that are here. Yo, so what do you guys think about the event though? Quick overall thoughts on the event though. Uh, really fun. Again, you... Again, Rachel, what time did you get here this morning? 4.30. You got here 3 a.m. So yeah, Gabe, you, Gabe is literally a corpse at this point. He is tired. What? You're a corpse. Oh, You're a legit zombie at this point. See, yeah, he's out of it, man. Again, though, uh, Cindy also brought the sick uh, rabbit peach cosplay. You guys will see pictures. Hey, she got she got third place though in the cosplay contest. If it wasn't for that dude that had the fam of the Whopper puppet, I'm pretty sure you would have been a shoe in the wind. Nah, I hear you. Hey, that's awesome though. Hey, you got exactly. Everyone got pretty much what they wanted. I'm surprised that guy actually went to be honest. No, he had a pretty sick cosplay. Like, he the dude legit. Up, he, like, he legit had. He made that puppet himself, he told me. He took him like three oh, days to make. Really wow. He made that puppet from scratch and all the clothing and everything, like in three days. Oh, wow. That's the Oh, yeah, Smith. It was really great, though, because uh, I got here like 9 a.m. There's people on this side, too. Yo, you guys need, yo, you guys need keys? Here's the keys. Alicia Keys. Oh, wow. Really? Alicia Keys? Okay. Yes. So yeah, you guys already have seen the, Mon the Monopoly game, but I'm going to let these guys go. But again, follow Rachel on her Twitter and YouTube. Subscribe. Vincent also, go check him out. Sam's been gaming. Follow him on Twitter as well. Since he already rocking that cosplay, go check her out. And of course, my man Gabe, you gotta go check him out as well. But you guys enjoy your Monopoly. I just wanted to give you guys a proper shout out. But uh, good seeing you guys. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna take it back to my fellows over here, the people that are like waiting for the Switch and Play crew. I, I, I was just like distracted the phone. I heard a lot of people. Yeah, actually, uh, Elvis won the very last one though, so. Uh, yeah, I literally won this with like a last ticket. It's like, oh, I won! Yeah, the guy at the store gave you the ticket and you literally won the last raffle, right? Because they were giving these away every hour. So yeah, Rabbit Mario. Is there better? You got that. Wow, that is that. huge. You got that. <laughs> but uh, Gilligan, I see you're enjoying Mario and Rabbids. Uh, what are your thoughts so far based on what you have played so far? I'm, I'm basically getting used to it. Like, I like how you, like, you can be able to like, right. ask and maybe you can jump into another location. Because I'm uh, trying to see if I can do it. Oh, man. Hey, hey Governor's in here. What up, Governor? Again, Governor, uh, I'm hoping that's you, Cobra Rebel. I'm guessing that's you in the chat. But uh, our buddy Cobra Rebel, a.k.a. Governor, he was also waiting on the line. I helped him out to get on the line as well. And hey, Valentina, good to see you as well. 
So by the way, shout outs to Gilligan here because he did the nicest thing. He, him and his friend Osiris, right? Was your friend Osiris that drew the yeah, picture? AKA Mofeta from Brooklyn. So yeah, Mofeta from Brooklyn. Um, uh, he actually helped Gilligan with the poster that said thank you to David and uh, well, I actually his name's not David, it's Davide, right? Yeah, Davide Soliani. I know. I thought. Yeah, I, I thought it was David. David with the silent E, but okay, Davide. Okay, Davide. But uh, yeah, again. Dav he, uh, like my friend from Brooklyn actually drew a really awesome picture of Grant and uh, Davide as rabbits, and we actually all signed it. So, huge shout out to Gilligan for helping me uh, get all the signatures, though. It was his idea, though, so yeah. he gets the credit for that. I also give um, Osiris, aka Mofeta from Brooklyn, all, all my thanks for joining the whole thing. So, yeah, definitely go check him out on Twitter as well, but, uh, Gilgan, you had a good time at the event today overall? You thought they ran the event well? Oh, yeah, it did. I, I really enjoyed it. I mean, it's really nice uh, seeing Grant Kirko for yeah. the first time. Yeah, I know. He's a legend. Like, It's surprising that the line didn't get too big until at like, the yeah, very end. Yeah, I know. I was yeah. lucky. So, I, mean, say, I, feel, I feel like, like I cheated everyone because like, there were like, lots of people who were in line to get this thing. And they got Bro, a ticket got and, a and I literally got the last ticket. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, God. Too me. Whoa. Okay. Anyway, you were also... What time did you get here again, Elvis? You didn't get here till the event already had already started, right? Like 4 p.m. Uh, weird Mario. Uh, Five or something. I gotta make a level. Up. Yeah, they still had two hours. Again, I gotta give Grant and um, Davide a lot of credit. They actually did autographs all the way until seven. Yeah. That was nice, and they didn't like they didn't like stop like an hour of the way through. They just went through the whole entire time, and they really care about their fans. They replied to a lot of people on Twitter. They just did an amazing job with this event overall. I think they ended up only before the cosplay contest, which is really good because the winner won the, uh, the, the win guy. Yeah, the, the guy? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I, he was on Twitter as well, but yeah, he's the guy who did the Phantom of the Wapra. Yeah, that, uh, he that actually won? Name, yeah. yeah, he won the whole cosplay contest. Oh, first place. Nice. He, got, he got a figurine, he got a shirt, and a copy of the game. Second oh, place wow. was the kid because, you know, you have to be nice to kids. No, yeah, of course. Yeah, was nice. was, uh, Cindy. It was, it was a few kids. Yeah. That was Cindy. The kid dressed up better than all the other guys. Especially at, with hoodie. Because clearly, you know, cosplaying. Uh, yeah, Rabbit, Mar hard. Rabbit Mario, hot with hoodie. Uh, uh, man, thank you very much. I mean, he uh -oh. just wanted a picture. I guess that's fine, but whatever. Actually, what I, I don't mind it. Jerry, dude, <laughs> with the puppet. Legit good. Legit knows what he was doing. It's two years he's been making puppets as well. He even made one for the great Mighty Pooh. And he showed me that, it was actually pretty good. I don't know if I saw any corn on it, but still pretty good. Nice. Um, Is that true as a puppeteer? Yeah, it's a puppeteer. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's good to know, I didn't even know that about him. Again, I know it's Twitter. Everything was customizable? Was custom? Was custom? Again, I wish I could put photos yeah, look, on here, but since this is a mobile post, stream... When you see it up close, you know it's custom making. It was that's a little fine. bit uneven, but that's when you know like he was just doing this as fast as possible just for the costume concert. Oh, yeah. Was it perfect? No, but it was damn good. And he knew what he was doing. I mean, like, that's still good enough for like. Man, we should check on the fans first. Uh, see, we got it. I don't think so. I, I know he has a YouTube channel, which I did not get. Sadly. Uh, I know his Twitter, so I'll go check him out on Twitter and everything, and I'll tweet him out. So if you guys don't follow me on Twitter already, definitely do so. What's his Twitter? Also, uh, Rob, uh, what, how, what did you think about the event? Um, uh, actually, well, first off, I actually got into the event, so that that's uh, kudos for that. But um, yeah, it was actually pretty well. It was pretty well. We did a little, the DK rap for a little bit. Yeah, literally, Grant Kirk about the whole. Grant had the entire. Yeah, group. He, he had the whole group singing the DK did rap. The DK rap? Yeah. Did that for a little bit, and uh, they did a little very short Q and A. Like they only took five questions, which shocked me because they took like a hundred questions in, and they only took five. But whatever. Hey, listen, I'm I still gonna... asked my question when I went up yeah. there to go talk to him. Yeah, and, and I'll get to what I asked him in a minute. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I actually got up to them and saying like, "It's awesome. You did a great job with the game." And I still told them like, "I hate the idea." <laughs> it's just like straight up. Hey, listen, out. you were honest with them though. I'm very honest with them. It's one thing. I don't like the rabbits as a franchise. However, with what they did with this. All the care that they put into it. Hell, even the rabbits seem likable in this game. Yeah, they seem like they have a little bit more charm and personality. They're not just screaming, Pah! Yeah, no, it's, just, it's not just that anymore. Well, no, it's it's not it's not rabbit. Rabbit. Yeah, rabbit. Uh, okay. Also, Rob, you gotta show off what you ended up getting and hit them the sign. Alright, so if you see right here, this is actually the Super Mario Maker uh, concept art book. Um, obviously not Ubisoft. Obviously, they never made it. But I got them to sign it. Because as of right now, they're official Mario Maker. So I got Grant Kirkhope's signature. He's right over here. 
and uh, this one is supposed to be Davide's, but um, it's a little it's a little hard to see it, but yeah, that's, uh, that's it. And that woohoo at the top is Charles Martinet, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because I had Charles Martinet actually make the signature a long time back, and that was his little woohoo. And this is actually superimposed into the, the art book itself, like, which is usually just comes with it. Again, it's really good though. Yeah, so I'm making this like a little bit of like a, a, a thing for anyone who actually uh, comes out of nowhere. Koji Kondo has been to come out one Yo, day. Yo, if Koji Kondo comes yeah. out, I'm getting, a, I'm getting a photo of Rainbow Road and I'm getting him to sign that. Um, if Koji Kondo comes, oh my god, that would be like, the line would be just as long as the uh, Charles Martin Lane line. Oh, I mean, he's relatively lesser known in comparison so who knows actually but he's the guy who did all the mario games he yes and who knows that better than us i mean it, it, all, it, all, it only yeah only gamers would really know not a lot of people know who grant kirko is i've been asked many times who the hell is this guy i'm like he's grant kirko yeah he's my grant kirko well see like, who I, I would actually i would actually probably credit yes, the game wrong, um, a lot more because of that oh uh, yeah uh, eric over here also got the uh, Mario, the Bowser side sign. So, I love that. Again, by the way, that's a spoiler right there in the center. So if you don't want to be spoiled, look away. Although it's too late. Oh, okay, yeah. Trainer, yeah. So Spoil them as you're spoiling. Them. Exactly. So. <laughs> and yeah, we got that. We also got this giant poster. So there you go. It kind of reminds me of like. That's uh, all good. Like, but again, uh, we are. Uh, they did uh, the All Stars uh, sports. We just appreciate um, how much sports mix. Uh, it kind of reminds me of that type of uh, of art style. Just the coloring, I think. Can we appreciate how we have Keish with a goddamn gun nowadays? Uh, yeah. Oh God, everyone has a gun now. Yeah, it's the it's the future we wanted from like 2000 when Shadow had a gun. <laughs> Everything. Now everyone has a gun, and we could appreciate it now as well. Grand Theft Hedgehog? Yeah. Grand Theft Hedgehog. Yeah. So it could be like the most edgy. No, actually, no, that's Super Mario Strikers. That's the edgiest. No, but as for my thoughts, though, uh, I enjoyed myself. Really I got here at like 9 a.m. in the morning, so <laughs> I was definitely guaranteed a spot. And what I got, I got this side of the poster sign. So there you can see Grand Signature and there's Davide's. And I also got a giant one, which I may be doing for a giveaway on the channel, so stay tuned. You guys might be able to um, uh, win yourselves a poster. Again, the giant one that Elvis just showed off, aka Mecha Dragon. I'll go follow all of them on Twitter as well. Mecha but uh, yeah, Mecha. I, they know who you are. I tweet at you sometimes, so they got you. I think it maybe just giving this a feeder for the charity run and um, this December, because I don't think I'm gonna keep this entire box of in my room. Well, yeah. Honestly, if you really don't want to keep the Mario Rabbit statue, we can always have that as a prize for a future event. I do, I'll bring it to Switch and play on Friday again. Sounds good. Yeah, by the way, can we appreciate the fact that everything de in the freaking Mario game now? Yeah, pretty it's, much. It looks too much like Spawn. It really does. And we have here, um, Eric just bite his tongue. Here's how he's eating some pizza. Yeah. That's, yo, Prime Prime, that's actually a really good idea. That would be our buddy Albert. Yo, guys, what do you think about this? I want to see Dave Weiss there if the DK games get ported. Wait, I'll talk to, how about the DK round? Oh, like, like another DK, DK 3D platformer? Yeah, I guess so. Um, I'm going to be very honest. I'm not sure if, uh, that is, that. if that's going to be like a well-thought-out idea. If they're going to do it again, they, they have to pull out all the stops to make it something new. Yeah. Because DK64 was original in its own right to the point that... And it was pretty big as well. It was a hell of a big adventure. I don't know how they're going to actually uh, fit another one. Also, I never knew this before today, but I did not know that Grant Kirkhope was actually the voice of uh, Donkey Kong in Donkey Kong 64. Right. As well as the Jinjos, uh, Mumbo Jumbo, the bottles, jam jars, and yeah, it's kind of crazy. And uh, the crack pot as well. Yeah. The cauldron. He's he the one that says... Really? I didn't know that yeah. was him too. Wow. That was him. He did voices, Grant Kirkhope? He did voices, yeah. He's, he, um, uh, back in the day, it was just, you know, when they need extra voices, there you go. And obviously, with a musical background like that, you could have a different range, so... Was back in the days when the, like, the team for a video game wasn't as, as much. True. Like, well, music comparison. Yes, I mean, you didn't get much respect like, for it either. Uh, right. The right. Blue was like 10 people. Yeah. And when something would cost me, like, the entire goddamn country. Like, yeah. Yeah, and nowadays you just need like a hell of a lot more people to actually deal with this or that because that game right there probably had like 200 developers to uh, go around with. I mean, doing the cinematics itself is just enough yeah, to get more and more people to do with it. 
intoxicating. I have to get that. Um, <laughs> I have to Check take one. Oh, yeah. 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 Finally. And all the rest are all. Like, I'm hungry. I'm it takes so everything. many people to deal with this. It takes so many testers to make sure nothing's messed up with the game. If you're going to have like the little robot people just <laughs> roaming around in the world, you want to at least put some invisible walls here or there, but you want to make sure nothing lets you fall through. Unless, yeah, of course. Yeah, you don't want the game crashing and whatnot. It's, it's as it is. We have a lot of people that need to work into this game, and as much as I might hate the idea, like I told them upstairs, I don't like the idea of this, but I can't say no to Dream. I cannot disrespect it for what it is because it's still a good game, and I see that too. I mean, I like the idea. Not only that, though, David freaking really took a lot of passion into this yeah. project oh, as you well. Oh, believe it, yeah. No, he's he's legitimately an inspiration. Although I do like the fact that you asked him who's the the guy that freaking made Luigi dab, but the fact that he actually gave a proper name of the person that actually said yes. Okay, so a little spoiler. Um, if you look deep into the Luigi trailer, you, when he puts out one of those little landmine machines that roams around, you get to see him dab <laughs> for just a tiny second. And uh, it's kind of like that thing with the my soul died a little when I saw that, but <laughs> it was damn funny. No matter Wait, that what. happened. I'm gonna look that up. Yeah. Wait, is it to like the point thing? where they, we actually did a little photo op earlier as well. Um, the Luigi, uh, the Luigi mascot suit was there, and the guy was like, "Oh yeah, you know what? Dab on the haters. I, I, I got you." Uh, and um, I got like 15 gray hairs getting from that one. Uh, um, and, and we all took a picture of us dabbing with Luigi. Yo, you gotta send me that. We're putting the Switch and Play Discord for sure. I, don't, I gotta find it. I don't, it's probably on Twitter. It's probably on YouTube. Oh, so that was what that was. Brian gonna wanna show you what the. Oh, yeah, so, um. So, wait, can I show off the thing in the inside? You already used the code and everything, obviously, right? So, guys, if depending on where you end up getting the game, you do get the pixel pack. Don't worry, the code's already been used, so don't try it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Gilgan's gonna quickly show those off. Yeah, you can use it like So, this is it right there, the fragment. Wait, hold on, let me. Uh, Weapons like powered by 8 yeah. bit CPU so, uh, do not seem strong. Right? Yeah. The foes like will be blown second. away by the creativity yeah, of the gun no, like, during combat. It's so small. Hit damage, I, I didn't notice it until the people. Honey damage, up. 60%. Against Ziggy's, 40% chance. Dab on, when you dab on the heat. Honey chance, 30%. Dab on, dab on, dab on. Power damage <laughs> low. Medium range, 10 cells. If anything, just quickly browse through the weapons just to see everything on everybody. So, yeah, there's that. You can see the, it looks like all the stats are the same on it. Oh, it is. It's yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, the, all right, what type of weapon is that? Is that like the yo-yo weapon? Yeah. That's so yeah, you got a retro yo-yo too. That's pretty cool. Yeah, rather than if you get a, if you get a specific style for it. Like, I'm watching Mike. Mm. Watching us. These are the get base. These are the, the weapons you guys get in the uh, world in the one game. so far. There's like a 10 second delay. You know that, right? For what? Nah, he's he's the red watch. He's wearing red watch. Stream boys. Hey, not big man. That's pretty much. Yeah, for now, that looks like it is, because you gotta find all the other oh characters. Oh my god, it literally got hell in a shell. Oh, really? With the references? Yo, yo, we can't, we can't yeah, it was like hell the first in a Mario game. We can't show censored. that. It's a Mario game. We can't show that. Oh my god, the kids are here. Oh my god. Like, this is the most edgiest Ma Mario yeah. game. Uh, by the way, uh, Pride and, by the way, Pride and Prime asks, do you have more gray hairs than the pins on your hat? Yeah, you're damn right I do. Yeah, I know. It's already showing here. Stop showing it. God. But uh, yeah, I am going to pretty much call it a stream here. Again, this is my way of streaming tonight. That way uh, I can relax that, since I've been here all day, though. So I won't be streaming tonight. I'll be streaming on Thursday. But if you guys haven't seen it, I did a review, an unboxing of the Elgato Cam Link. So definitely check that out. You can definitely hit that like button, I would definitely appreciate it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord, all those links are down below. And from all of us here at the concourse, though, until the next time, my fellow Monster Gamers, take care. Team Flight. Exactly, Team Flight.